Maybe I could help out in that regard? No, not until you see Dr. Hand. Dr. Hand? Marv means the world-renowned gynecologist. Dermatologist. Oh, then Dr. Hand. I heard of him. Isn't he a little eccentric? More likely weird. I've heard he's a little germophobic and wears gloves whenever he touches anything. There's nothing wrong with that. All dermatologists are that way. I read his book, The Intelligent Hand. It's really quite interesting. He claims that the thought processes actually reside not in the brain, but in different body parts, such as the hand. Really? That's interesting. Maybe that's why they call them hands. Too bad your brain is not connected to your mouth. He's both a gynecologist and a dermatologist. Imagine that. He sounds like a handy guy to have around. Oh, he is. Believe me, he goes both ways. Like you, Chet. I don't play those kind of games. Then what are you doing in the United States Senate? Keeping the seat warm and my suit pressed. Just like Senator Smith. Well, then they pay you how much? Not nearly enough. That's why I have to appropriate myself a little something extra. Buy something extra? Do you mean that I have Pepsi once in a while? That means a piece of the action at the Mirage. Where do you think you two are going? Oh, I'm going to teach Viper how to work the street. We don't have streets in Area 51. Well, you'd better get some. No streets? How do they expect us to make any money? Well, hurry back. They're about to announce the election results. Hey, Rove is saying something about Ohio, Peckerbach. Turn it up. This should be the last nail in the coffin for Obama. So he'd not only need to sweep the rest of these states, which were won by the Republicans in 2004, he'd also need to pick up something uh, as well. Guess what, Carl? I've just received word that the state of Ohio has gone for Barack Obama. I can't believe it. This is awful. Maybe they forgot to count the rednecks. Oh, maybe that's Dr. Hand now. Marv invited him. I didn't invite that little creep. Yeah, he did. I sent out the invitations. Then you're the one who invited him. Well, someone had to. Jesus Christ. Now I've got to listen to Larry Hand's bullshit all night long. Epiphany! <gasps> oh my God, we're being invaded! Obama just won. It's wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, wonderful. There goes our Afghan poppy harvest. And my invite to the inaugural ball. I was going to wear this beautiful suit. Senator, have you met Epiphany, the great extraterrestrial poet laureate? I'm afraid I haven't had the pleasure. Well, hello. Hi. Who invited her? You did. Ow! I must have been drunk. What does she do? Everyone I can. My leg hurts. She falls down mostly. Dr. Walters gave her a lobotomy. What's your hustle? I'm a pimp. I can see that. May I recite a poem that I wrote specifically for this wonderful occasion? Hell no. Oh, come on, Marv. On her planet, she's a national treasure. Then she should go back there, be buried alive, dug up in a thousand years, and leave us alone. Rocks, stones, bricks. Ah, oh, shut up. What's his problem? He's anti-intellectual. Oh, the fucking... Ow! I have to apologize for Marv. He can be a real jerk sometimes. Oh, it's okay. I love everyone despite how many times I've been tortured. That's damn sweet of you, Epiphany. Would you like a drink? Oh, I'd love one. So, are you happy about Obama? I'm overwhelmed in the classic sense of the word. I didn't know there was a classic sense of the word. <sighs> Don't ask motherfuckers. Marv. What? Your ignorance is showing. It's okay. I'm used to interplaying to prejudices. In fact, when I was a young girl, I was a really close friend of Celine's. We went through some horrible times together. How old are you? 121. You don't look a day over 19. Well, thank you, darling. Celine shows her age um, a lot more than I do. 
<laughs> That's for sure. How do you really feel about her? She's a hell. We'll do anything for money, even play Las Vegas. But that's okay, because back in the day, I was the same way. Hey, that rhymes. Well, you know, it was the way to do it. It still is. I'd hire you, but you're a mental defective. I don't know, Marv. She could be in your next movie. Who's nailing Palin, part two? No, I've already signed Rena for the role. Don't pay attention to him, Epiphany. He's just bitter because he's old. I'm not as old as Rena. Not yet, anyway. It's okay. I love everyone, even these old bigots like John McCain. In fact, I want a poem for him. Would you like to hear it? Hell no. Yeah, we would. Go ahead. A lock, a stone, a brick. I said no! Shut up, Marv. Go ahead, Epiphany. A lock, a stone, a brick. A lock, a stone, a brick. Still he rises with heavy eyes. Improvise, harmonize, socialize. No need to apologize. He's just one of those wise old maverick guys. Two black eyes for lot telling Obama lies. A lock, a stone, a brick. A lock, a stone, a brick. That's enough. Fantastic. Thank you. I can't take it anymore. Hillary, are you asleep? But what does it all mean? I have no idea. It just flows out of me. Put it back in. Epiphany, could you recite a little bit of your latest poem? I hear it's quite good. It's one of the best I've ever written, but unfortunately, the copyright hasn't come back from the Library of Congress yet. Oh, well I have a feeling you'll be reading a poem at the inauguration. Oh, really? Do you think so? Could you put in a word with Obama? He is my home planet. Weren't you for Hillary before you were for Obama? Well, yeah, but now I'm with the winner. don't actually expect me to sit in this dirty house, do you? I guess not. Ugh. How is the election going? Obama won. Oh, he's a patient of mine. He actually has a horrible case of acne. I feel sorry for McCain. He's a patient of mine as well. He has a terrible case of melanoma. Well, he should stay out of the sun. And how would that make me any money? 